Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a will I buy it video. I have not done one of these in a very, very long time. And as I was going through my Instagram feed and uh, all the other places that I learned about new makeup releases, I noticed that there were quite a few of releases that I'm either excited about or on the fence about or have some thoughts on. So I thought now would be a good time to do one of these videos. And this type of video was started by Samantha March. Hello, Samantha. She is a dear friend of mine here on YouTube. So thank you to Samantha for uh, creating this type of video. There's so much fun to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna scoot over so that I can um, insert like a picture of the things right here for us. So don't mind those dots back there. That's just light coming in through my blinds. I actually have some notes here. I'm not usually this organized. I usually just kind of flip through my Instagram as I talk, but I realize when I do that, I miss a lot of things. I'll probably still miss a few things, but <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first one is the brand new Dior Forever Concealer. Uh, I actually went and looked at this at the Dior Boutique. Um, they don't have it in Sephora stores yet. I know you can purchase it on the Sephora site already. Uh, and I was uh, a little bit intimidated by it merely because of its size. It is a really, really large tube of concealer. And when I spoke to the sales associate at the Dior Boutique, she said it's meant to also, I don't know, kind of enhance foundation or you could even use it as foundation if you just kind of want to like spray bot foundation. I don't know. It was on the same day that I had just purchased the Hour Vanish uh, concealer. And so I didn't really want to kind of go overboard with concealer. So I didn't purchase it then, but I am still very interested in it. And if you guys are interested in a wear test, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. There looked to be a really broad shade range. And I think the shade that I found that would work for me, oh shoot, I already forget. <laughs> it's either 1N or or 2N, I think it's 2N, um, is the shade that I think would work for me. So if I were to purchase it, that would be the shade that I would get. So that's the new Dior concealer. The next thing I saw that really caught my attention, and nothing from this brand has really caught my attention until now, and that's from Dominique Cosmetics. I believe on the 24th of this month, she is coming out with the Latte 2 palette along with two lip glosses and all three of those items look really really perfect for me i really love the colors in the palette all of the um six colors on like the left hand side of the palette look like beautiful kind of like neutrals just great everyday eyeshadows and then the four colors on the left look a little bit more pastel and light and I think could be fun. And I also read in one of the descriptions that the peachy pinky color could be used for blush. And then two of the colors, I'm guessing the green and another color could be used like as a light dusting, as like a corrector, maybe underneath your eyes. Uh, I think that would be really, really interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'll try it that way, but I just really like all of the colors in terms of just straight up eyeshadow. Um, but it all looks really nice and I have heard good things about the formula. So I think I'm gonna get this palette. I also wanna pick up the two glosses that are being released with this palette. There's like a creamer color and then I think it's called Java, but both of those colors look really, really nice to me as well. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try out this brand. Uh, again, I've never tried anything from Dominique Cosmetics. So I am looking forward to this release. Tati Beauty has also come out with her second release. So she had her Texture Neutrals Volume 1 eyeshadow palette that was released a few months back. And now she's come out with the Blendiful, which is uh, two, like, um, I don't even know what you call them. I guess like puff um, makeup applicators. And I was just personally very curious about this. So I actually have already ordered this. Uh, I will definitely be doing a video on it. I'm kind of a brush girl. I don't like using my fingers. I will use a sponge occasionally. And sometimes I do like pressing in my powder with a puff. So when she was kind of demonstrating it and, and all the Instagram like ads I've seen for it, I think it looks very interesting. So I did order that and I did get a shipping confirmation for that today. So that should be arriving soon. Shantakai has uh, started to release sneak peeks of their uh, spring 2020 collection. It's their Hummingbird collection. And so far, I don't know if this is the entire collection, but so far what I've seen is that there is like a face powder and an eyeshadow quad. Hey guys, editing Michelle here. So between the time I filmed this video and I'm editing it now, um, Shantakai has, uh, you know, announced basically that there's two eyeshadow quads, 
um, a powder and also four lip chic colors that are part of this hummingbird collection. And I have ordered both of the eyeshadow quads, the uh, powder and one of the lip chics. I got the honeysuckle color. So I thought I would update you guys with that, uh, but let's get back to the video. I get really, really excited for their releases because they're usually very well thought out. They're usually very, very cohesive. And Shantakai is a company that usually donates money to a cause. And I'm assuming this one has something to do with hummingbirds. So I'm really excited for that. Anastasia Beverly Hills is releasing, or has just released. I think maybe this has come out already, but it's their eyeshadow palette collaboration with Amrizi. I have actually not been interested in an ABH palette in a really long time. I think the last one I purchased was Norvina and not the big purple Norvina, which I actually did purchase, but the like light purple velvety Norvina. That's the last Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I purchased. So I didn't purchase any of them from last year, like Alyssa Edwards, Riviera, um, Carly Bible. Jackie Ina is probably the only one that I was tempted to get, but I just kind of passed on it. This Amrezi one, it does have a lot of like neutral, quote unquote, wearable or daytime appropriate colors, which you guys know I love, but there are enough pops of color in there that I know I'm not gonna use that I think I'm gonna pass on this palette as well. There's like that pink and that turquoise, and I think that's what makes the palette really fun, but I just, I just don't think I'm gonna use those. So I'm gonna pass on that palette unless for some reason something changes my mind, but yeah, I think I'm gonna let that one go too. Next up, um, Estee Lauder is releasing kind of like a sub line called Act 4, and I believe it's someone in the Lauder family, maybe Danielle Lauder. I don't know if I'm recalling that correctly. I think it's Danielle Lauder, and this is kind of her baby, this Act 4 line, and I think she's um, an actress or into acting, and I think that's why it's called Act 4. Um, but there are some very interesting pieces in this line, and I've seen this line kind of come in and out of stock on Nordstrom. There's like a loose powder with a puff, that uh, one of my friends on Instagram mentioned, he said that it was like a really cool, like cooler product than he thought it was. So now I'm tempted by that. I'm tempted by like that big gelée highlighter. It looks all marbleized between like a, a pink and a yellow color. So that looks really cool. Yeah, there's some fun products and there's some like lip products. One is like a duo lip product. I think it's like a dual ended uh, component, which looks really nice. The packaging looks really cool. Everything looks like it's in a white marble with some like rose gold accents. So it is very, very millennial friendly and it is very, very appealing. I just don't know. This is one that I just keep looking at and I keep kind of putting it in my card and taking it out. And I just don't know. I just can't decide whether or not I actually want to pull the trigger on this. So if you guys have any input, any thoughts, if you guys have tried any of the products, please let me know down below in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Okay, next up, Bite Beauty has released three new products and they have finally stepped away from lip products. So Bite Beauty, in case you guys don't know, is um, a company that uses like food grade ingredients um, for all of their lip products. And they have finally created other products. So they've come out with a foundation, a two different kinds of primer and a pressed powder. Uh, I don't know that I'm interested in the primer. I feel like I'm just really happy with my Victoria Beckham primer and I've been using that, but they have come out with a primer for normal to dry skin and one for normal to oily skin. Yeah, I'm not that interested in that, but their um, supercharged micellar foundation actually looks really interesting. They have, what is this, like 32 shades? They have a lot of shades on here. Um, the coverage is medium, the finish is natural, which really speaks to me. I wish it was like more of a light medium, but we'll see. Um, and it says it's a clean long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural flawless finish. That really resonates with me. That sounds really, really nice. So I am tempted by this. Please let me know again down below if you would be interested in seeing me do, I don't know, a full day wear test, or if you've tried it, please let me know what you think of it, what your experience is. And then they've also come out with the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. I'm not sure that I'm interested in this. I have a lot of powders in my collection, both pressed and loose, and I don't know that I need to add to it. Um, but it is a clean talc-free powder and it's made with finely milled volcanic minerals to blur, mattify, and touch up on the go. Interesting. And it is deemed clean by uh, Sephora, so it does not include 
um, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and more. If anything, I think I'd be more interested in trying this pressed powder versus the primer. But really, if I had to choose out of this whole uh, new release, it would be the foundation that I would want to try. Um, so that is very interesting. And congratulations to Buy Beauty for releasing some new things. I bet that's really nerve wracking for a company to kind of break out of something that they're so well known in, like lip products for them, and do something completely different. I hope it's a hit for them. I really hope it's a hit for them. Um, I also saw some pictures of Laura Mercier's spring collection, and there's two things that really stand out to me, and that is the two, they look like highlighters, but instead of like the wave embossing, they have have like a flower embossing. I don't really know the details on this. I don't know if those highlight colors are existing ones and they're re-promotes with just sort of this new um, floral embossing on it or if those are new shades. Whatever the case is, I'm definitely very intrigued. I think it's really pretty. I really like that floral embossing and I really like the Laura Mercier like baked highlight uh, formula. It's really pretty on the skin. I have most of them. So if this is a re-promote, I may pass on it. I am hoping that one of the shades is new and I can purchase it just to get that <laughs> floral embossing on there. Um, so that is from the Laura Mercier Spring Collection. And then we have some more Tom Ford releases. So I don't know how soon these are coming out, but these are the face and eye palettes that they usually come out with for uh, like the Winter Soleil collection or the Cruise collection. So it would have normally been out already, but I don't know, maybe because they've been releasing things like nonstop between the Soleil Neige collection and all of the quads and the foundation, maybe they've pushed these eye and face palettes back maybe a month or so. I'm hoping just to give me a breather because I want all of them. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of them, but all of them look really, really beautiful to me. They all look to have that baked formula where you can use the eyeshadows wet or dry, and that just, uh, that just speaks to me. And since they aren't releasing this during the kind of Winter Soleil collection, it looks like they've changed the packaging from white to their mahogany, to their like kind of regular line packaging. So that's very interesting too. All of the face and eye palettes that have been released so far have all come in the white Soleil packaging. So this is a really nice change and I'm definitely gonna get one or two, if not three, if not all of them. Anyway, I'm very excited for those as you guys I'm sure could predict. Uh, and then last but not least, it looks like Gucci Beauty is finally coming out with some brand new things. They're coming out with a mascara. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get that. Mascara is definitely one of those products that uh, just does not excite me. I don't get excited for new mascaras, new mascara releases. Uh, even when I get a new mascara and I try it out, I'm not like, yee. You know, it just doesn't excite me. Other product that Gucci is releasing um, are more lipsticks and they have more of like a metallic, well, not quite metallic, but like a shimmery, frosty uh, sheen to them. And the packaging has like stars on it. It looks really, really cool. I happen to really like frosty metallic type lipsticks. Um, they look to have one that's like gold in there, which you guys know I probably won't be able to pass up. Um, but a lot of interesting colors. They also look like they have like a, almost like a gunmetal kind of like taupey color. That's gotta be really interesting on the lips. That is definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow colors, but I don't know about lips. So I am definitely very interested in, oh my God, speaking of lips, my lips are so dry. So I will definitely be checking this out. I really don't know the release date on this or the mascara. I just kind of saw these on Instagram and there wasn't a lot of information on there, but hopefully these will be coming out soon, especially if pictures are already being released. So that is it for this Will I Buy It video. Again, please let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. If there's anything I was on the fence about and you wanna push me either way, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.